Hey everyone, so uh, it's not very long before I go to bed uh, to get ready for my first day in the new position where I work uh, tomorrow. And I got a new round reel. Um, I'm going to have to preface that a little bit and say that I have kind of reoriented my fishing more toward trophy size fish in general. Uh, that primarily being that of uh, the catfish variety. Um, I'm going to start going more for blues and flatheads. Uh, obviously in my region uh, of Arizona, flatheads are more prevalent than blues. And I'm going to have to go on um, trips to, say, uh, Yuma to really get into the bigger cats, uh, Colorado River and uh, whatnot. Uh, so rural Roosevelt Lake, you know, places of that nature, Bartlett, uh, Pleasant, you know, I know big ones come out of there too. But I'm going to be going for blues real soon. Um, probably, excuse me for a second. Just are very, very, very close to me going to bed, so I apologize for yawn on occasion. Um... By the end of the first quarter to the middle of next year, I'm definitely going to be going on at least uh, two or three longer duration trips, depending on how things are going uh, for me career-wise. I just started the job that um, I'm doing as of ending as of uh, today at the end uh, for a month and a half, almost two months now. Um, I'm transferring into a different position in the morning, so I'm hoping that it will pan out. I really don't want to change yet again. Uh, I had a month and a half from when I got laid off from my last place, and I got this place uh, to hire me. I like the way that they are. I like the way they treat their people, so I really don't want to leave. So hopefully, by you know, in the first quarter, by middle of the year max, I'll be able to take some trips with some PTO. So, as a previous video where I have the uh, Lose SC600 300 size uh, round baitcast reel, it has the anti backlash uh, magnet <sighs> system on one side, it has the um, lure slash bait uh, weight adjustment like standard on the other side. It's got a really nice uh, 140 millimeter uh, length handle with some decent knobs on it, but I left it too knob because on the rod that it's on, I can do swim baits or I can do catfish. It's heavy enough to do both. I've got quite a few swim baits, but I'm really starting to tr focus primarily on catfish. Um, I was into them a long time ago. I was into carp a long time ago finding myself getting back to that because getting older the walking and tromping through things to get to the spots where I can get to places where the big bass will sit and not necessarily be touched by other people except by boat it's harder for me now uh, I, my hips are exceptionally bad they uh, go in and out constantly uh, I stretch very well but they still do what they do so, elasticity aside, it just gives me an issue. So, I like the type of fishing now where I can sit back, relax, I have a chair, um, keep a drink, get my bait, throw it out, relax. Now, catfishing does this. Uh, you know, uh, the modern reels and even the classic reels have this set it and forget it type of thing going on with them. The SC600, not so much. I have to lower the drag and put the clicker on because it doesn't have a disengage like the old lever actions do. The, our level winds, the old old style. So, I was going to get an Abba Garcia Catfish Special. Um, incredible drag. They pull up to routinely up to over 240 pound blue catfish with these reels in the 7,000 size, which is what I want. I'm sure at some point I'll get it. But in the meantime, I picked up this. This is a Fish CM brand, which is actually a Korean brand. I thought that it was um, 
Croatian. It's not. The writing on the box itself is actually Korean. So it's South Korean because North Korea ain't going to send this kind of stuff out. But it's got um, brushed aluminum integrated with uh, injected type polymers. And it's a very well built reel. You can hear very positive. You get it in the real clack. Ratchet. Okay. So it's an old school uh, bay cast. There is no um, hand pad to push. There's no hand bar. It's the lever. Okay. So with this reel, you pull back, it turns it into free spool. And you are full 100% cast control with this with your thumb. There is no magnetic. It's just the adjustment for the weight of what's on the end of the line. That's it. So it's completely original, old school style in that manner. Um, the difference is that you let go of that and you engage this down and it turns it into the bait click at that point. Okay. What happens is when it starts clacking out, you switch, it gets to that, then you can pull it up and make it regular. So it's very integrated in a way that the old style conventionals are not. Now this is still a 300 size. It's only rated for 200 yards of 14 pound line. So if I put 30 pound line, I would expect to get 100. Well, I have 50 pound fluorocarbon coming, camouflage. So I'm expecting maybe 40 to 60 yards on floral because floral is quite a bit smaller in diameter uh, for size than mono. So still, I mean, you think about it, around 50 yards or so, give or take. So, you know, 50 times 350 feet. Yeah, it's not a whole bunch of distance, but for catfish, I'm going to try to get them in fairly, uh, after a fair decent amount of fighting if they're any size. The thing with this reel is, the thing that I, I immediately like is that it has a double-sided drag. You see how it's got the, the discs on both sides? It's shrouded on both sides, and when you turn the handle forward and backward, it adjusts both of them inward and outward. I don't know how they figured it out to do that, but this reel has a total of 40 pounds of drag. Now, that doesn't seem like... Uh, Hellfire and Brimstone compared to some of the uh, ocean reels that some people use for catfish. But on a 300 size reel, 40 pounds is a lot. So it's going to be able to handle some stuff. And it's got this monstrous handle. This is what's considered a light saltwater jigging reel, basically jigging and trolling. Um, it should work really well for cat. Now this part, this knob is very well set into the side. Um, I don't know if I'm going to adjust them right away, but this knob, for instance, has a fair amount of play to it. The knob itself has some play, but I think it's just uh, the way it's set. You know, it's it's tight in every other respect. And I don't have any intention of changing the handle because it's just so big. Like, I mean, if you're cranking down... You see how long the handle is compared to the reel, but it's bent in. See how it's got the bend in? Um, it's really lending itself to having that crank. And the rod this is going on, I actually have had a previous video on. It's from Tackle Industries. They take a basically a, a 9 to 12 foot surf rod and cut a couple feet off of it. I have essentially what is a seven foot total length rod, which is really about uh, six foot, uh, well, not even that, maybe five foot, if that, with about two and a half foot of, of handle. It's definitely one of those ones that you could put over the, the side of a boat and jig with a reel like this. And, and it lends itself to really being together very well with this reel. Now, I don't know what to expect from this reel. Uh, Fish CM brand is not a very uh, out there yet well-known reel. Uh, the company itself makes all sorts of products. Um, I expect that it will perform well. 
and I will reserve judgment on that until such a time that it proves itself worthy or not. Uh, I will not have a time frame uh, at this moment to get out to a place where I can throw, say, a chunk of carp or uh, a four to six inch bluegill. I, I won't have that opportunity for a while. So this is just a preliminary uh, saying, you know, here's an introduction. I was asked when I said on uh, one of my fishing um, sites that they go on and post pictures, I posted pictures of this and they said you have to do a video on it. So uh, I am doing a video on it. It is actually uh, forge riveted into the reel with the base plate. So that's that's a very strong base plate. There is no movement of any kind. Um, it's a very, very strong ABS. The function of this thing has got to be pretty damn good. And it's really super smooth. Super, super smooth. And the uh, back is instant. There is no backward to this at all. It's it's all anti-reverse unless the free spool is on and the clicker's on. So there is no turning it back. There are some bait casters where you can do that. This one is it's not that kind of reel. Um, you can kind of look at it and see where the gears are. It's kind of an unusual way of it sitting. It's more up and more with the reel and just a little bit down the collar if you take a look. Not like some of the low profiles where it sits really low. Now, I will say that a lot of what I did in the past with baitcast was exclusively with low profile. In fact, I just uh, a couple weeks ago sold my uh, low profile cranking reel that I was using for light swim baits to a friend of mine and put my other round reel from my big rod that I'm putting this one on onto that one for my light catfish slash swim bait rod. So I have not had a conventional reel and or conventional round reel since my Abu 5500 Classic, which I actually had from like 1986 to I think maybe four or five years ago. Um, if that, when uh, a friend of mine came and I donated a bunch of my fishing stuff. So I always kept it updated. Uh, always got new parts when I needed it. I cleaned it, refurbished it every single year for, you know, all the way from, well, I'm 45 now and it's 2017. So you think 86 until just a few years ago. So um, this one is really beefy for its size. It's kind of unusual to uh, see a brushed and spun aluminum, but you see it's very solid. There's a lot of solid solidness to this reel. I mean, it's got some movement, but that doesn't concern me because most reels have some movement in some other parts, but the the uh, drag itself, there's no anything. It's just because it's pinned on with, you know, a set bolt. Um, I don't really think there's any need for adjustment, but it's very positive engagement. Uh, that's releasing that spool, then of course the clicker, and it doesn't matter where you have the drag set, when you engage that, it'll like, let that bait be taken by something pretty be beefy and big. Um, I have the concept that when this thing is free and it's sitting there with the clacker, then when something really zips on it, and I hammer this down and engage it, it's it's gonna be game on. I I'm anticipating it, uh, anticipating the arms aching and the, the exhausted and exasperated end of a battle uh, that so many catfishmen really strive to have when they go for these things. It's been a long time since I've caught a flathead. I've caught some pretty big carp. Uh, in fact, I caught a 42-pound carp three years ago on a mealworm on a 7-foot ultralight. That was an experience. It took uh, close to an hour to get it in, and it was...
was a lot of me just hanging on for dear life and getting line in when it came back my way, basically. A uh, black friend of mine that happened to be with me at the time jumped in the water to grab this thing. It was pretty phenomenal. So I'm no, I'm no stranger to big fish, but I'm really wanting to get into the in general more. So there's going to be more of a disparity in between ultralight to big. I'm going to be ultralight and, and medium light for uh, panfish, regular fishing, bass with bait fish, and then these bigger ones for the true big fish on bait fish. Ought to be an experience. Like I said, it's really smooth. The level line has a positive engagement. It has a uh, 5 plus 1 roller bearing and it is a 5 1 to 1 this is the BT20 model there's a 20 and a 30 30 is a much bigger one uh, it's one I didn't get it has a slightly lower gear I think it's 4 to 1 4 to 1 to 1 instead of the 5 um, hindsight I probably should have gotten that one but I'm going to try this one out because Unlike the Catfish Special 7000, which is like 160 bucks all day long, this was 89 So, I'm going to give it a try. It's a really well-built reel. I'm actually impressed with the level of quality. Not, not to mention the fact that this thing came from way the hell out there. It came through Aqualine originally, which was a shipping company that's owned by people in Abu Dhabi. Uh, it crossed over and became a part of Amazon and ended up being an Amazon order. So I believe the sales, uh, the place, the store on eBay actually sells through Amazon and it came from a place where Aqualine was the place and shipper that could handle it first. Uh, it really is a very cool looking semi-futuristic take on an old reel. But the thing that gets me is a lot of times, these little conventional reels where you have to pull the handle to release the spool, they don't see how it frees like that. Uh -huh, see, uh, it's interesting. Um, they don't have a bolt like that. They have just the lever. So it really lends itself to big live bait, and I'm really looking forward to it. The type of rig I'm going to do... <laughs> And I've got to find these beads because you really have to go to a craft store to get real beads. The plastic ones they sell in the store suck, okay? And I had a 300-piece kit that somebody threw out of glass beads. It really kind of pisses me off, but the glass beads don't cut your line. The plastic ones will eventually shred your line. And it's important to know that. If you're really into a heavy-duty catfish rig, I want to do one of the white slides with the, the snap swivel and have like a two to even four ounce weight, maybe even six to eight ounce, so that, that line will slide through and it will sit on the bottom and that bait fish will uh, swim around. So it, it's gonna be uh, some doing, and 50 pound uh, fluorocarbon camel that I have is from High Seas. High Seas is gaining a lot of ground, a lot of ground with their lines. They've been around for a few years. Well, they've been around for a long, long time. They're really gaining a lot of ground in conventional uh, bass fishing and, and other avenues now instead of just uh, salt water. So I think it was like 12 bucks for, what was it? I think like 600 yards of 50 pound fluorocarbon camo. I mean, come on, really? So it's an experiment at this point in time. Uh, it's by no means definitive. If I get to a point where I don't like this one, I will sell it. But, you know, for the most part, it seems to be uh, fairly well uh, made. The one thing I don't like about some of the conventional reels, however, is that they're hooked on this top thing. So they have kind of this lateral movement. They're kind of chintzy like that. Yeah, you know, you take the good with the bad. It guides the line. It really doesn't do anything beyond guiding the line anyway. Um, it's on there solid. So, it's just the way that it's hooked. Uh, it's kind of by design so that it will stay gliding. I mean, you notice it goes. It doesn't stop. So, 
I'll take the good with the bad, I guess, if you could call it that. I don't really know that it's bad. Uh, just little things I see, because the bait casters I'm used to using, even my Abu Garcia, it was hard pinned in the, the top. Uh, this one, you know, like the old schools, wrapped around. And with my Abu, it was pinned in. It was just like this, but it was pinned up and in. So it was much more solid in that way. It's a very, very well-built reel, though. I cannot fault them for the way they do it. The worm gear on this thing is uh, machined very well. I expect good things from it. If I get something other than good, well, you guys are going to know pretty quick.